people try to play patient. It's like, all right, cool. I'm going to open you up right. because I know that your defense has its openings, right. and I will find them. His mix-up game yeah. is on A point. Smash 4 Sonic main is going to be patient. Yeah. He's going to be very patient. So, you can't out he plays Wolf Sonic main. Yeah, he plays Wolf in this game. Um, I've actually never seen this particular matchup, um, but... But yeah, I I have I, I have been able to see this quite often, and it's actually Mario's are kind of rare now. Like I don't see Mario as all at all. There's a couple. There's a, a very solid Mario and a very solid um, Wolf player up in the, the CT area, and both of them make that matchup look relatively, you know, kind of evenish with the way they okay. play. But these two, these two are uh, amongst the best of the best. Yes, and you're, we're gonna be seeing. I think Wolf probably does a better game in terms of overall boxing, but Wizzy. Wolf's playing off stage. Right. Oh, right. And that's where Wolf really it just comes down as a character is off stage. But you know, the, the real game here is going to be how does Wizzy get in? Mario's trouble is getting in, getting the grab, and then you know doing his bread and butter. And Wolf has a pretty good keep away game, and he has very disjointed moves that don't have a lot of lag. All his smash attacks almost lagless. And you're seeing right now he's having a little bit of a hard time getting in. But I think the big thing that's happening with Wizzy too is that Wizzy's trying to play the same game that uh, Jackal is right now. He's trying to just throw out single hits to get quick trades, but now that he's forced off stage, that flood, ooh, actually ooh. just baiting, potentially just leaving him alone with the flood, trying to go low with the Nair. What's the option? Man, and, and you know, you have to, against Wolf, you really do have to be fearless off stage because that's where you're going to take his stocks more often than not. So Wizzy already showing at the beginning of this set that he's not going to be shy about that. Like, yeah, you definitely if he have gets to be, him off stage, he's going to go for it. You have to be respectful of, you know, the, the, the side B potentially getting your stock. But the Book of Mario is now being preached. The we Book now see Mario. at least four up smashes. We will be seeing a fifth one. Uh, offer tribute to the Lord and Savior up smash. Try to catch him jumping. I oh, actually man. like that because a lot of times people will be pressured on that platform and they, they want to get out of there. Yeah, and, and Mario's down there, super buff to move. That move will kill you, guaranteed in this game. But in the, unlike the last game, you never fall out of that move now. If you get caught in that down air, you will feel the full brunt of that move. And how even in this game is this gameplay right yeah. now? You see both of them trying to play just quick, swift, box in, box out, get in, get out. But the damage is just so high on both that nobody's been able to close out the kill yet. There oh, we man. go, right on Q, getting that back air on his jump in. Oh, hey, man, and Wizzy answering back with his back air immediately, bro. No backsies. Take that back air back, bro. It's like, it, it, apparently, both of them are just mirroring each other's options. Just yeah, keeping... Right. Wizzy's playing. He's like, yo, that's a mad good idea. I'm a back air. Yo, back I, I got... Yo, I'm going to introduce you yo, to the tips real quick. back air. Both these characters have a reflect. Both of them have a a, 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 a little bit of a projectile. A the decent neutral. Yeah. Well, one Wolf has a decent projectile. Better. The other one has a neutral winner. Yeah. <laughs> Literally the neutral button. He just presses that big red button in his controller and wins neutral. I All right. And Dark Wizzy doing these bread and butter combos. Really good. Yeah. Get your damage every time that you can. You got to rack up as much as you can, even in a back out. Doing the drop down back air into back throw. I like it. Just instead of opting to go for like a down throw for a combo extension, force the ledge trap. You're forcing yeah. it, like to be a little bit more scared at the ledge rather than just trying to commit to some extra damage. Yeah, what, what's going to be... Oh, and he, oh, he caught his jump with the fireball. fireball. That was a snipe and a half. Damn. Just keep putting the scope on that one, bro. Yeah, don't let him recover for free. Just put it out there, and if he disrespects it or if he misses, that's a stock for you. Don't even have to work that hard. Yeah, and Wizzy's doing a great job with his movement. I mean, I, I, I can see that he's making Jackal kind of second-guess himself a little bit in neutral. It feels like the, he's he's kind of uh, moving around everything that Wolf wants, and he's making it really hard for Jackal to get these hits, but jumping right into a back air right there. Yeah, you know, where Jackal wants to play the straight hit game, oh, catching him on the roll, that thing scoops. Man, Scoop that's talking thing, about is pulling you from everywhere. Most, that's one of the most deceptive hurt boxes. He just, we just played from these yesterday, he did that to me, and he was way closer to the ledge. If you do ledge roll, that move's gonna scoop you up, even if you're nowhere near Wolf. If you've ever been to Cold Stone, there's the like yeah. it, the love it, that up <laughs> smash the is the gotta it. have it. That's the gotta have it, man. It's a little bit too much for everybody's liking, except for Wolf. Man, and, and you know, this isn't out of Jackal's reach right now. He's doing a quick. 40% off of just up airs. Oh my god. Just racking but, it back up and opting to roll back in. He's been mostly going away. Wizzy wasn't prepared for it that time. But look at his damage. Just going for the single hits and then backing off. He's like, all right, look, I don't want to get a potential trade with you. Man, Wizzy being fearless. I mean, we're, we're seeing uh, Jackal just dash dance there. And Wizzy just jumping right in there with a nair, getting a confirm. Oh, man, this is going to be sneaking out the jump. And you see, yeah, see right there, putting all those back airs. He knows Wizzy's back to the corner. 
He's gonna probably roll this time. Yeah, and, but the, he wasn't prepared for oh. it there. He rolled the other time too, I think like two ledge options ago. And yep. yeah, he just reacted late and got up smashed. Yeah, you know, you it, I'm surprised that Jackal wasn't ready for it because he went for a couple jumps off ledge before, right? right. So most likely at that point when they're buried in the corner, especially at kill percent, that roll's coming. Yes. Like, seen it once or twice. Yeah. But Jackal not being prepared for it and trying to get out of there, I that up smash is gonna catch you. I think the next, I think, uh, you know, he's definitely, I can see him shaking his head there. I, I feel like he, he caught on to that, especially because that's how he lost the game. Mm -hmm. So he's, I, I feel like we're gonna see an answer to that. And yeah. we'll see what Wizzy's answer is to like, okay, maybe I can't roll ever again. I think we're gonna be seeing Jackal probably play uh, maybe a half step away from what looks like a, a neutral get up punish and then throw out some F smashes as well. Right. Because he's gonna try and force Wizzy into shield to stay there so he can get some of these throws he's looking for to force some uh, potentially drop off there. Right. He hasn't really done that uh, throughout the first game. Right, and right now uh, Wizzy off to a pretty good lead. Ooh, but now he's at the ledge. They're trying to catch him, but Wizzy just jabbing him out. It's like, all right, look, just reset. I don't need to go for a big grab. Too many people are too antsy sometimes yeah. in a, when they're in the corner. They get spot dodged, and now you're off stage. Just and, jab, back him off. And Wizzy doing a great job with his movement again. Like, he's bobbing and weaving, man, and he's getting in there. And then, look at that, just perfectly punishing that Nair with an up B. Not a lot of characters have the options to punish that Wolf Nair. Exactly. But Wizzy that, showing no fear here. I love that down smash, by that the way. That down smash looks awesome. Yeah, Mario just styling on him. Yeah, fun fact, that's uh, from Mario 64, he has a move where if you crouch and then attack, he does a little oh, break dance move. I never that's even realized that yeah. was the same move. Okay. Yeah. It also kind of... This has been a lore minute with Nintendo. Yeah, there was also a Dance Dance Revolution game with Mario, like a Mario Edition that's one, and he has a move, a break dance move that looks like that. I've heard that one before too, actually. I completely yeah. forgot about that. Even in this backup... Breaking out the cardboard and just doing that down smash on it. <laughs> hey, so, hey, you know, I'm just saying, we're trying to stay the home of getting bus ass. That forward and smash that, is going to take oh, that stuff. Man, that Wi-Fi Warrior F smash right there. Wizzy just shoot no fear. Uh, Wizzy, yeah, all right, I like it. He realizes, like, you know what? Let me go for stage positioning instead with this down smash instead of trying to go for a potential combo right. because of my rage, I might not get the follow ups. Man, and Wizzy doing a great job with those up out of shield. Anytime that Wolf tries to nair him on block, he's getting up beat. And that's a really crucial thing because now, you know, that's a lot of what Wolf wants and a lot of how Wolf forces you to pick bad options is playing around the nair. And Wizzy just showed him, hey, you can't do the nair. And now so, Wizzy has to adjust because Jackal is now switching his pace up. He's yeah. playing the move ahead game. Like, all right, I'm going to put out a fake option to see what you follow up with and punish you where you go right. rather than where you are right now because he hasn't been able to open Wizzy up for the most part after these past two stops. Yeah, Jackal having a really big deficit here. He's, it looks like Wizzy really downloaded it, whatever he was doing from the last game. Uh, very dominant lead here. And just, we're, oh, is this going to be the stock? A back throw might kill? No, it won't. A good All DI right. as well. Yeah, that's not going to get the kill just yet. And holding down at that up B just to yeah. potentially trade so he can back him off. All right, let's see. This is where Drew... Oh, wow. That fireball confirmed to F-Tilt. Yo, that's... Yo, my man's got, like, and some strong thighs because that F-Tilt sent him all the way up to the other side. Man. And where's... That's true. Okay, so... Uh, We'll talk about that in a second, too, because yeah. there's yet another pop-off. Yeah, because there's sort of is take back here on the off. landing. Damn, Wizzy with a three-stock lead right now and showing no fear here. I saw Jackal put his hand up to his chest, kind of like, yo, calm down. Yeah. Breathe. Take us, like, you got this. Just take it easy. You have five minutes, you know what I mean? Like, yo, there's no reason to run into these Mario options. Oh, and <gasps> he's looking to end it. He just ran off and, and just prayed that he three, went low. When you're up three stocks to one, go for that. You can go for that, yeah. If you, even if you don't get the fair spike, you trade with him on the side B, he's going to die. He's not going to make it back. Yeah. 100%. You have nothing to lose there, and you can have everything to gain. Oh, man, and Wizzy getting started here with Nair up there. Oh, Nair up my there. goodness. Just barely missing the parry down to as well. Uh, like, Wizzy is just reading all of his defensive options right now. You know, and what's funny is that we predicted ahead of time that a lot of this matchup would be uh, Mario going off stage against Wolf. But honestly, Wizzy's been killing him on stage a lot. So, you know, good stuff to Wizzy here. Just showing no fear and just disrespecting Wolf. He's being beating where Wolf is good. He's been beating him on the single hit trades. Rolling to stage, almost getting him, can, trying to get him to jump into stage with the up smash. You know, Jackal's not out of this just yet, man. I mean, if he can take this stock here, this isn't out of his grasp. Um, and we, we, you know, we're seeing some adaptation here. He's playing it a lot slower than he was earlier. Look, Wolves all have the emergency button. They have that down smash. That down so smash. if you can get him we off of this stock right now. Yet. 
Yeah, it's just trying to catch him at a ledge potentially, but Wizzy's never really let him put let him there in right. this game too. Oh man, and good stuff from Jackal there. Not dropping shield there, but in the moment he got him to go low, you saw the immediate change right. of position. Wizzy knew no matter what, this stock is mine. This is happening, man. Yeah, Wizzy just smacking him over the head with that one. That was beautiful. So another upset update. Leon just beat Juice. Oh, wow. Bowser that, versus ZSS. That's a traditionally a bad, bad, yes. bad matchup. A character who has, let's be, just to be as straightforward yeah. as possible, a piss poor landing option against yeah. uh, Zero Suit Samus. Right. He just won again. And, and you know, Leon just tearing up everyone's matchup charts right in front of them. Just, just like, the, all the drafts, half, everything bro. you thought, your predictions, Yo, throw just your toss numbers it. out. You have to hire a new accountant, bro. Your numbers are all wrong. Yeah, that bank account's about to get a little screwed up at the end of this. Well, so, Wizzy, one of the few who's been able to put a stop to yeah. the really strong play coming in from Jersey right now. Right. Wizzy. And, it, you know, I mean, what we're seeing a lot of is I feel like we're watching Jackal overcommit with the wrong buttons. Like, just now, he did a fair instead of an air and got upbeat anyway. Um, so, it's kind of like it feels like he's been having to approach Wizzy the whole game. Wizzy's been doing a good job of just getting a bit of a lead and then, you know, bobbing and weaving through Wall of Wolf stuff. Mm -hmm. But just as I say that, Wizzy with the deficit and uh, Jackal with a pretty dominant lead right now. And now Jackal's on the bob and weave uh, front end here. Right. This is exactly what Wolf wants. If you can keep Wizzy from getting like big damage off of potential catches from the uh, short hop up air or a throw, you're going to be fine. Right. And he's like, you know what? I see that. I'm just going to hit him and back off. Hit him, back off. Force him into an uncomfortable position, but not try to overcommit. Right. And I think that what we predicted earlier about this, this, this game would play off wow. And, Jude Jackal just calling out that that jump in with the up tilt. It still drives me insane up that, tilt, that up tilt. That snake thing, up tilt. Like, <laughs> but, uh, you know, what we're seeing is actually that Mario, uh, Dark Wizzy's actually taking advantage of Wolf's other biggest weakness besides being off stage, which is that his mobility, he's actually a very slow character. And Mario's very nimble. His arrow mobility is amazing. So I think that's what's making all the difference here. And man, Wizzy just oh. doing a great job of just covering that option. And then Jackal just picking I the wrong Jackal one I think Jackal was just trying to make sure that he didn't recover over the ledge because Wizzy was right. already positioned to up smash him if he did. So like, you know what? I need to go to the I need to go to that corner. And unfortunately, he ended up SDing for he, it instead. It was right. still all set up because Wizzy got it. There's that there's smash that you're talking about. we wanted, baby. When you need... I, I believe that Wizzy held down there because he held down last time in the same scenario to get Wolf off the ledge. Yeah. But that down smash is so, the hitbox is super big, super active move. Um, and yeah, J Jackal with a convincing lead here, even after that SD. Not not, not shaken, shaken from that. He's just playing anyway. We were talking about that multi game conditioning that uh, James does so well. Jackal is very much along the same chemical makeup. Right. He hasn't been using the down smash purely to make it seem like right. he's not playing in the punish that. This is what he needs to gain momentum. He's currently two games behind, looking at a really bad spot. Again, forced at the ledge. Like he's got to pull out all the stops. Oh, wow. And just parrying that up smash and giving him that F tilt. And yeah, he's with a dominant lead here. Let's see. Uh, let's see if he pulls this one out. Oh, and he is catches him on his way back in, realizing he's going to be a little bit aggressive because he wants to. He wants to get back down and continue to put the pressure on. Right. Wolf is not a big fan of jumping to the ledge a lot of the times because he doesn't want to lose his jump and then be off, hit off stage. <gasps> oh man, Wizzy going for that. He's trying to close this set out 3-0. Yeah, you but see, Wizzy that. went for the cape before, trying to go for the uh, four air as well. Right. And that actually sets some fear in Jackal because it's like, oh crap. He's trying to he's trying to risk it all. He's right. trying to put everything he can on red and make sure that it gets the kill. <gasps> Almost Whoa, catching the jump. Out that jump. He was right, but he just misspaced it. But he did call out that jump, and uh, we're seeing a lot of t a lot of times like he's losing the neutral here from Jackal and that's over committing with a nair in. And right, that's conditioning. That that's conditioning that from is... just catching him going low, throwing out those like attempts to right. swing big, catching him on the jump. But Jackal also in a prime position to potentially get a stock, but he's gonna be forced back oh, off boy, stage. This might be it right here. This is the worst position for Wolf. Right. Yeah, you see Wizzy, in. Wizzy was just standing under the platform because he was trying to cover any approach he could take. Trying to catch him on his landing, but the up tilt's not going to hit. Yeah, and I think we're going to see a lot more of that up tilt. It's been working for him a lot on Wizzy's approaches, and Wizzy with that raw bear. Oh, Wizzy trying to go for a ledge snap into a potential backer here as well, but no punish. He actually crossed him up, so he's going to force him back off stage yet again. Oh man, this is scary right now. Both of any stray back air from either character is gonna kill. Will this, will this do it? No. no That's he's gonna, yeah, going for the down throw, just trying to get stage positioning. He hasn't gotten a single F tilt to hit, Let's but he go. catches him finally with a back air. Jackal gonna put himself on the board. All right, this is very doable. 
Uh, and yeah, he just called out that jump in with the back air. They're, they're both back airing each other, left yeah. and right from the ledge. If, you, if you're trying to get off that ledge, man, they're, they're waiting for it. They it's such an amazing air. option to do yeah. against these two characters. It's like, all right, look, I know that if I overcommit, you have big damage you could get on me right now if I do. So I'm just going to throw out the back air, fade back in, keep myself safe. Both of them both do right. it very well, except one of them hits much harder. Right. And, and Wizzy opting to go Smashville here. I think he wants less space, and he probably wants, uh, you know, the neutral is going to be a little bit better because Mario having that platform there, he gets to kind of move around better. He doesn't have to just commit in the middle of the stage as much. Both of them being able to close the gap and getting good combo extensions off that center platform too. Right. It's a good stage for both, but I think you're right. I think that Wizzy... His most important thing right now is that he saw that match get away because Jackal was able to run away. Right. He wants to prevent that. Right. And right now we're seeing uh, Dark Wizzy with a pretty decent deficit here. But, you know, we've seen him come back from that before. Um, Mario's his combo game is insane. So, you know, it, all it takes is one hit conversion and you see big damage usually. Yeah, Tail is all this time. You get hit by Mario once and you go straight to 80. And that's something right. Wizzy's so good at. But also, like... Jackal's kind of, he really slowed this down now. Yeah. Like, he's got, he's finally getting to play the, the blueprint that he is so good at. Well, good patience on Wizzy, kind of reacting to that tech roll out of, uh, as well. Yeah, and Jackal just not falling for that fireball snipe again. He just jumped right over that and uh, getting off that ledge. Oh boy, this might be it. Oh, he he did cover the tech, but I think that would have only hit if he charged it a little more or if... Yeah, if he missed the tech there, like I think he was anticipating a missed tech because he hasn't really been able right. to get him on tumble over the past few games. He's right. like, all right, cool, I got him. But Wizzy, good mental awareness. He reacts yeah. to those pretty quick. That also would have covered tech roll in and, and that down smash definitely would have hit that, but Wizzy teching in place. And the uh, the blessings of that up B actually reversing the situation didn't hit him with the strong hitbox, which right. could have just taken the stock away from Wizzy. Right. Well, oh, and Wizzy walking into that up tilt just now, and now having trouble landing. We'll see how he... All right, he gets on stage, and he answers back with an offensive option. No fear. Oh, and somehow that up smash just missed. And then both of them decided to back off, but trust Yikes. the old up smash is going to come in. Make sure oh you use that as many times as possible. Man, he rolled into the ledge, and that up smash didn't hit him. That is an insanely lucky timed roll right there, man. Wow. I'm and now Wizzy being forced off stage. He actually, Whoa, he ended okay. up stalling, on it, I think unintentionally with that side B. Right. Like he probably just wanted to recover up at that point. Or maybe he thought he had the room. But that is huge for Jackal. It's like, all right, look, USD, yeah. cool, bro. No, no extra That's credit fine for me. you. You got 14% off of that, that stock. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, a lot of people are seeing a big green lights for go and blood on the other side of these winner side brackets because right. Nobody wants to be in losers oh, right Oh, man. Now. Yeah, these two guys, you could tell that before this set started, they both were thinking, I got to stay in winners. I have to win this set. And, and man, shout out to, to Jackal, man. Like, this is night and day kind of different. Mm -hmm. I mean, he just slowed the pace down a little bit, and it looks like he's not getting running into as many uh, of, of Mario's hitboxes. So he's dancing a bit. He's dancing around it really well. Yeah, and, you know, Wizzy, it seems like Wizzy's starting to turn it up a bit in the aggressive apartment. He's like, all right, I see that he's been playing the boxing game well. Right. I need to slow this back down, and it's kind of working in more favor to Jackal. It's dead even, but you see Jackal's looking right. more confident in when he actually hits. Yeah, and, and one of the interesting things about the, this character is that a lot of things are unsafe on hit, even at mid-percent. We just saw Mario get nared by Wolf, and he was able to back air him before he hit the ground. I mean... This is this seems like a turbulent matchup. So for for these guys to be playing it a little bit slower is, is interesting. For a turbulent matchup, I have to give credit to uh, Wizzy. Something I like whenever I see that he seems like he's finding Ooh. trouble. He throws out the up smash, okay. but um, he First will go all, back to center stage. Wow! And ba give up like a ledge trap right. where he feels uncomfortable. Like, you know what? This game's getting away from me. Let me just go back and reset. Right. Like he clears his mind so fast. And that's what I think Jackal did. Uh, the last set, that's how he won that set. And now, you know, that's that's why this is so close right now. These Both of these players are very, very smart. Mm -hmm. Right, those F-Smashers I was talking about before. He's been oh, reserving man. him going into his next game. Jackal's got to maneuver his way past this ledge trap here. Oh, good stuff from Jackal. Not trying to freaking... Uh, 
I see a lot of people try to shield grab moves like that and just end up getting smashed. Wizzy did another back air praying, hey, I hope you drop your shield and think you can grab this. And man, that's already the fifth or fourth, fifth or sixth stock we've seen this set, losing a down air. That's kind of how Wizzy's getting his stocks. Like you, got, you gotta pay attention to when they're getting jumpy. You know that they want to open you up with that narrow potential fair. Right. And Wizzy just goes for the option, like, I have better stage positioning. If you hit me, I'm fine. I right. hit you with this dare, you die. What I want to see from Wizzy now is that he's been doing a great job of throwing Jackal off stage and then forcing him to recover immediately by fireballing. But he hasn't been covering the the recoveries when, when Jackal goes high mm -hmm. based off that. Yeah, I think he's been kind of letting him recover for high for a reason, like trying to let him feel uncomfortable. He doesn't land directly in front of him. Remember, this is let the Jackal's potential last stock of winner's side yet again. Whoa, and, and Not ballsy get move. Punished. Wow, man, that BDE of just freaking going onto the stage with that recovery. No fear. A titanium set that man. this man is currently yeah, wearing. Very well fortified. Yes. <laughs> Oh boy. Taking a little four to find oh, this boy. wall that um why is he has been putting up? The back throw's gonna fuck wow. this not. This DI is being immaculate from Wizzy. He definitely staled it a bit, but man, I'm still surprised that with rage that did not kill, man. The testicular fortitude of these players is beautiful to watch. As I heard earlier today, eh, grandes es huevos. And, yeah, <laughs> and both of them is currently just sitting there being kind of reckless. But Wizzy can afford to be reckless. He's a up a stock. Like, man, like, these, both these characters just throw out moves that their normals will kill you. So for both of these guys to be playing so calm and cool and last hit, I mean, Wizzy still has a stock. So you'd think that he'd just be a little more ballsy about this stuff. But yeah, they're exactly. both playing very patient. That back door, not going to do it yet. But you catch him another, another one of those, he could potentially die. Oh, he, and, and he gets him with a that. That's it. So that's what we were talking about earlier. He was throwing out the fireballs. I was saying I want to see him cover the high recovery. The fireball stalled Jackal. And then Wizzy was like, okay, now I got you. I get to do this footstool. Or maybe he could have done a, a nair or something. That was really smart from Wizzy. And that's another one of those situations where because he was up a stock, right. he can afford to go for that. He it's can, like, you know what? Right. Rather than let, you know, if I take a trade off this up B. Right. Crap, so but I'm, I'm yeah, okay. Right. But he was able to leave him alone for so long, so free.